So was that the was that then? Because I, I I see you know being at, at again thirty five you're you're young like you know what I'm saying young. Like, like like this 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 is where, young and getting it too. If you're in corporate America, you're living in Hollywood, like like let's paint the like let's paint the picture right and, and, like, and climb the ladder and climb the ladder the, the exactly. right way exactly. to get there. And so exactly, I'm, I imagine like that's your living life. I I don't really believe in shame. I don't believe in regret. However, they're, they're valid feelings. Has Ha, has that been a part of your emotional pattern at any point during d during being locked up and then also um, at that time of getting caught? No, you know, when I, when, here's one thing that a lot of people and where people get hung up on is, and I said this in the beginning, I will admit I did something stupid. Mm -hmm. And once you admit that you did that stupid move, then everything else, you you don't have no guilt. Yeah. You don't have nothing over your shoulder. You you did it. You 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 know you're saying it's mine. I'm mm -hmm. gonna hold on to it, right? So doing that once I once I did that and I apologized to my mother and my family mm -hmm. and everybody was cool with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hurt them, but everybody was cool. Like we know you. We know the real you. Yeah. So we're gonna support you through this. And that once I got that okay. And that's why doing that time and doing everything was um, easy. So what did you learn? What what was the and I, and I, and, I, and I don't even want that tone to to sound like accusational or make make it seem because it's just like I I want to say how much I respect you for the honesty that like with yourself. It's not even that like you owed me honesty or you owed the microphone honesty, right? It's like no, but I I believe and I know that I did something wrong. Here are consequences that came with it. Right. Right. Yes. Like j j just right or wrong, and so I, I just incredibly uh, one I respect that. So it's like I don't I don't want any of the tonality to, to sound like it's accusational or shameful, but the humility that you have now, I find that there was a lesson in in, in the ten years. Would you say? Yeah, there there was a lesson. The lesson um, that I did learn is that. The government does not rehabilitate people that go to prison. So mm. the reason why the circle is still running and we're still going there is because once you're in there, you they're not helping you to rehabilitate. So it was almost like, and this is crazy, but it's almost like God said, you know what? We need somebody in there so that can really go inside there, see what's going on with the system, yeah. come back out. You know, I, I went in there. I went in there with a smile. I came out with a smile. I smiled every day while I was in there. The same person that you're seeing right now doing this interview with you is the same person that went in. Now, when I got in there, I had to, you know, adjust. Yeah. But God put me in there to figure some stuff out, and I and I figured it out that they are not helping these these kids and these uh, adults that have been there. You know, we we barely got email at that time when I was in there and I'm having to teach older men and old because they, they've been in prison so long I'm I, I gotta teach them how to send the email out you know and and things like that so it was like I was more or less helping people while in there I was helping people and um it felt real good to do that and knowing what the kind of situation I was living through and gonna be living for the next uh, 15 years, it didn't bother me. So, and a lot of people like to ask me, how did you do all that time? That's, that's one of the greatest questions. Hey, yeah. how did you do all that time? And you come out and you're like this. Yeah. And I just tell them because when I was in there and I felt my situation and that this was going to be my home, well, then I needed to find people that remind me of the people that I hung out with at home. So I found my friend Freddie. Yeah. I found my friend Steve. Wow. I found them. So when I found them, I hung with them. Sure. So they made my adventure, is what I call it, yeah. um, easy. Wow. Uh, adventure. I, I, I mean, again, <laughs> the, just the perspective, you know, because you know, I, I, I have a very strong stance on the abolition of the prison industrial complex. Mm -hmm. And for most parts, it's for the points that you speak of, right? And that you know what you're doing when, when you send a black or a brown child to prison, yes. a black or brown person to prison. You also know, <clears throat> you also know that there is no room for re rehabilitation. 
And that is the scariest part of it all because it's like, what do you expect but to create a larger cycle of crime and shame and punishment in our society that, that doesn't go really accounted for? Um, so I, I want to, yeah, I, I think, yeah, I am kind of wowed at just your perspective <laughs> at the adventure of coming out of it because <laughs> I'll never know what it's like. And I, I, you know, we spoke briefly about it, but this is really our first time having a conversation. Right. E even if I was, you know, kind of breaking bread a little bit before this, like we were very like, I'm not going to say much. Yeah. Right. We want to save it for this because I, I just don't ever want to speak out of turn when it comes to trying to, um, yeah, because I understand prison, you know, start using terms like, like I know and I, and I don't. And, and so my, my question to you is, what was the acclimation process like? I mean, I, I, I know I have been, um, told by family members, you know, do's and don'ts of prison. And I'm right. like, why are you telling me? I'm, right. <laughs> I'm not going yeah, to I'm prison. Not going, yeah. I'm not going to prison. So wh why are you telling me this? Right. right? But, but like, but then you, you see how the media paints prison, right? And you'd mentioned like what, what you had to do to acclimate. Right. And like, I can only imagine, like I, I think about, we talked briefly about Jamaica, right? Right. Where can you blend in at? And I'm like, <laughs> I cannot blend in in prison. Right. I will do everything I can. Like I, I can only imagine. This kind of sounds like a joke, but like I really don't know. Right. I don't know how how I would do it. You know what I'm saying? I'd have to shut up because, like, as you see, I'm very like, "Yo, what's good, everybody? How you? <laughs> what's popping?" Um, and uh, I know that that will not be. You know, like, so I don't know what are the best practices of prison. I don't want to make it. Like, I don't want to make a damn YouTube video of like five things to <laughs> yeah, do and like, not to do. Just in case you go to prison one on one. Prison one on one. Like, I don't want. But like. Because, yeah, I've only ever heard the stories of, like, no, you better not do this. This is what this means. Hey, don't do, don't smile. Don't do this. Like, you, like, as in to say, it's like you're ripped of humanity, and, 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 but you come out of here such a whole person with an adventure perspective of it. So what is that acclimation process, or what did you have to sacrifice? Well, well there, there are rules. When the, let me tell you something real funny. When I was, when I was going to, when I knew I was going to go, because I got sentenced, and when I got sentenced, um, they were ready to take me right then and there. And then I was like, um, no, you can't take me because I'm going to not, my grandmother might not be around or my mother's going to get older. So I can't go yet. And so they gave me 90 days to get everything in order. So I had to turn myself in. Got so it. during that 90 days, I was kind of like, you know, I had some friends that just started some MMA and I was like, yeah, man, I need you to teach me some moves. I, I need to practice because, you know, <laughs> something might go down. And I need to know something. Yeah, and I, I got to know something. And then I, and then I had this thing uh -oh. in my head. I was like, when they ask me my name is, I'm gonna say my name is Brock. Brock. Like, like, yeah, I'm, I'm Brock, yeah, and I'm, Brock. you know, I'm ready to rock. You know, just come on, just do this. Because <laughs> you don't know what you know. You you hear all the stories, you've seen all the movies. I like, I hate that you're making it comical because, like, it's just like, because, like, I swear, this is literally things that I think I would do. Like, like, I would have to be like, okay, what's my prison name? Because it's not gonna be Malcolm Alexander. That just sounds way too poetic. Like, it's gonna have to be like, yeah, it's gonna be like. Yeah. It's gonna be like venom, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because they used to come venom on the block. Like you grew up in Corona, like, yeah, like, like, like I, I, I'm M A, missing in action. Yeah, so missing you in action. Know, you, know, you know who you talking to? You know who you talking to? Missing in action. What's up? I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm ready. Like I'm just going to the gym to do a lot all of chest just, before, just a lot of chest day, right before. All day. Okay, got it. All diamonds, right, so, diamonds, diamonds. You know, I just want to make sure. So I, <laughs> to know, I was thinking the, the right thing. So, so yeah. So I came in with that attitude, but then when you get there, it's a whole different. Like you're like, whoa, it's yeah. a yard. And you got to remember, there's a difference between, and, and we don't see this except maybe in movies, but there's a difference between a regular prison yeah. and a federal prison. Yes. Because we're on fed time. I'm on the government's time. So we're treated a little different.